We had several larger vents and had been short on tents. Lee Jones had come to the rescue by lending us several frame tents, but now it was time to return his goods. We headed straight for his job site in central Saskatchewan. That took us through the Canadian Badlands, seen here. Farmlands, forests, an eight hour trip northeast of my town. Now central Saskatchewan by most standards is almost in the middle of nowhere. There aren't many roads that go more north than that. In fact, the last leg of the journey was but muddy dirt roads where I praised that I had all wheel drive. The lake where the tent setup was near had a cool interpretive center seen here. This is the lake in question where the tent setup was near. Beautiful, sunny day, gulls in the distance. And here's Lee Jones, the man in question, tired out by the intense tent setup on this sunny, blistering day. Uh, the secret is you grunt while you work. Look at this guy's and face. And you can be an animal. Is there any sweat here? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see any sweat? <laughs> Did you catch that? Did you catch that in Lee's eyes? It is madness. Sometimes in order to get the job done, madness is an excellent ingredient. Madness can overcome incredible obstacles. Madness is sheer willpower. It's incredible hard work. It's taking on a job that's far too big, that either breaks you or makes you. Lee uses a lot of marquees and he puts them in these really interesting patterns. You can see there's three 20 by 30s there, three 20 by 30s there, and a 20 by 20 in the center. So it becomes like a nice inviting C shape where people sit on either side. There's a dance floor in the middle, middle you can have lights down the middle. And so it's a really interesting shape. And that way, he doesn't necessarily have to get into big pole tents, which need a lot of labor, specialized equipment, and bigger transportation vehicles. But rather, he can stick with marquees, specialize in those, and have something super unique like this set up here. Oh, sorry. You can see Lee also uses tips and tricks like these stilts. That way, he can just go from corner to corner and quickly clip things instead of using a step stool, saving tons of time and money. In addition to using stilts, Lee is constantly trying to improve on every aspect of the job and asking himself the following questions. How can I do this easier? How can I do this faster? How can I do this better? And it's these questions that little by little can create a profitable, booming event company. I kind of feel bad I'm leaving these guys and gal. Yeah, right. He and, like, uh, saved the day. And but most of the tents are up. They just have lights and walls. These are all stake. Still takes a while to, to uh, light up or string this many tents. This is six 20 by 30s and a 20 by 20. So that's a lot of square footage to light up. Here's the tent again. Pretty sweet. Oh, like, don't you think that looks great? Especially once it's, there's some cafe lights. It looks amazing. You know, you're like coming and seeing that. It looks fantastic. So we're just heading back from Lee's. Everything is still a dirt road over here. My hair is a little bit wet because I jumped into the uh, lake after the setup to cool off and uh, it was glorious. Uh, yeah, I feel for him. He's going to be out there for at least, I'm guessing, four more hours. I'm guessing well after sunset. But uh, probably the last of the big jobs, maybe a couple more uh, before the uh, winter starts creeping up here. And uh, yeah, so it was a good summer. And looking forward to some off-season stuff. There's still, still going to be work. There's going to be some stuff going on. 
but uh, the main rush, I think, is done. Guys, take it easy, get some business done. We'll see you later.